Hello friends, my name is Milan and this will be the first tutorial of the C programming language. I decided to create this course. It will be a crash course uh, which will help you uh, to get uh, started uh, get starting using a C programming language. Uh, I suppose that you that you were together with me in the C++ programming course. Uh, uh, C language is, is similar, but uh, it's it's a different language. But uh, we will use the same program. Uh, we will not download anything. Uh, I have installed code blocks. If you don't have uh, if you don't have uh, installed code blocks installed in your computer, uh, it is recommended to to watch my first tutorial of the C++ programming language. In that tutorial, uh, we uh, installed code blocks, and now let's start. I will start the code blocks. It will be. We will use it uh, for uh, C or C plus plus. It doesn't matter, and we have an option to create a new project. Uh, I have this starter uh, C plus plus folder, but I will create. Uh, it will be starter C. It is better to be different folder because we want to, to separate uh, C uh, from C++ uh, projects. It is recommended. And now we will just create a new project. Console application, the same thing as we have with, uh, with C++ and we have these two options. And instead of C++, we will select uh, C. We'll go next. Uh, we need a project title. We will call it uh, first project. And we will use uh, we will use uh, okay it's marked here uh, starter C folder it is the folder that we already that we already uh, made now uh, we'll going to next okay uh, we will uh, this will be default it will stay default as it is finish and we have our project uh, created and here we need to go to the sources we have a main it's a similar uh, it's a similar like c++ but as you can see here we have a printf this is uh, the simple uh, hello uh, hello world example we have uh, uh, two uh, libraries uh, stdo and std std lib uh, libraries and here as you can see here is printf hello world we can just uh, test it now we can use build and run to see if everything is okay and this is hello world uh, example uh, this is our first uh, hello uh, program in c uh, hello world as you can see we have here uh, slash uh, n uh, but uh, if uh, if you were already with me in C++, you know that this means a new line. And if we delete this uh, slash n, it will be it will be the same. But as you can see, uh, nothing has changed. But uh, here uh, we don't have a empty line. And to to show you this better, we can write uh, something else. So, uh, print f is a printing uh, command in a C programming language. Uh, we are uh, learning C programming language. And I can type something more. I will just type. It is so exciting. C 
same column. As you can see, we, we printed some uh, two more sentences and now let's uh, let's use build and run now as you can see and this is not good uh, here is hello world we are learning c programming language and it is so exciting the point is uh, we need for the new line we need to use a, a slash n at the end of the sentence here And we will use it here now let's use build and run hello world we are learning C programming language it is so exciting but here uh, it is so exciting it doesn't have slash n but we will use it because it is better to be separated okay now it is more uh, clear to, to read as you can see, here is a sentence, hello world, we are learning C programming language, it is uh, so exciting. And this is, okay, this is our first, uh, first application in uh, C programming language. Uh, we will, we will uh, learn more complex things in the next tutorials, but this is enough for the start. I really hope that you like this uh, tutorial. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram. You have a link in the description and I will see you in the next tutorial.